Hey guys, welcome back to the Wadoc Project 365, episode 323. Had a little something else planned today. Had a little something else planned today, but how many times do you get to do something from the floor, athlete competition floor of uh, Super Regional right here at Northeast Regionals, uh, hanging out with these two girls right here, Francesca Emmanuel and Heather Sukas. Both will be thrown down tomorrow, uh, showing their stuff. Hopefully they, they do great, I know that they will. But talking and talking about doing some variations of the snatch because we have Randy tomorrow and um, and you're gonna see people do a couple different things and we're talking about three different variations and their advantages disadvantages to both those okay so first one's first we're gonna have Heather here and she's gonna do that really fast muscle snatch where the bar comes straight up and down but never touches her body all right good stop right there for one second awesome the big thing that I want you guys to notice is this is gonna be the fastest way at which we can move the bar because it's just going straight up and down, but it's the hardest on the athlete's body because it's basically all posterior chain, all posterior cuff on the shoulders. So you'll see your stronger athletes do that, but a lot of times after they do that, they'll come to a fatigue level where now they have to start using their hips more. When, uh, when the bar doesn't touch your body at all, it's pretty much all shoulders and back. When I'm able to start bringing the bar into my hips, now I can start coming off the pocket of the lift boom into a straight what we call a muscle snatch but that's more the true version of a muscle snatch right where comes into the pocket we still explode elbows come high and then we release up on top and lock out that is uh, just even it's even more efficient but it's just a little bit slower because we have more bar path movement right so if I go ahead and, uh, and bring Francesca in she's gonna do what we would consider as a uh, uh, like a traditional muscle I'm sorry not muscle power snatch in this case, she's going to come into the hip and she's going to re-dip. And the biggest thing that we see here is a re-dip. Whereas in the muscle snatch and that hybrid muscle snatch that we talked about, there was no dip at all. It was just either straight up off the ground or to the hip straight up off the ground. And then when we get to the power, we now have a re-dip. What's the advantage of doing this? The advantage is that as you fatigue, now we can get more... Uh, we don't have to bring the bar up as high and before we're dipping down underneath it, right? We can use our legs to stand the bar up. But the disadvantage is, of course, obviously it's slower. Will you smile, please? Girls are going to be throwing down tomorrow. So here's the three things. We have three different types of snatches. Um, all three have their advantages. One, obviously, the, the, the faster that we move the bar, the more energy that it's going to take. But the slower that we move the bar, the more conservative we could be. Uh, each athlete will go back and forth with those uh, depending on their fatigue level, right? I'm sure that these girls have a plan as well. I'm gonna steal that from you. Um, so I'm sure that these girls have a plan as well. We're kind of going all over here today, aren't we? Right? Cool. <laughs> Guys, check out those three versions of Snatch. Play around with them. See, uh, see about playing around with this workout as well. Hopefully you guys are having fun. Good luck to you guys. Until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to Optimize optimize performance. performance.